Uh, Jasper, we're, we're going now, okay? We've uh, got uh, Not sure I agree with assessing small children, but it is what it is. Given that he's only three, it can't be a proper assessment, it must just be a kind of, is this child reasonable? And do it, does he have reasonable parents that can get him here on time? Let's rush. Well, Jasper's having his assessment. I'm gonna go do some admin stuff in the reception. Yeah, see you later. Okay, well, it turns out that... Bye, Mom. Yeah, bye-bye. She's going separately. She's going into London. So, turns out that when they say assessment, what they really mean is just to find out how much work they've got to do on him, as opposed to, at least I think that's the case as opposed to sort of, do we let him in or not? He was quite good, in a bit of a funny mood to be honest, I think he's tired. There's a big surprise. I had 12 hours sleep last night, however, so I'm feeling like tripped out on sleep. We're a bunch, aren't we, Jazzy? Right, let's go. I really hate rain. We're gonna do some scootering, skateboarding in London later, but with the weather like this, I, I don't think it's going to happen. Do you think, Jasper? No. There have been some changes in the day's plan. We were originally going to London, but it's grisly weather. Oh, dearie me. So, instead of doing that, we're going to stay at home. And I'm probably going to go through a few of the EV news items that have popped out at me over the last week, because there's some interesting things coming along, not least of which is the five seat option for the Model X. That's actually brilliant, because with that, you can put that whole second row bench flat, which means that you've got 88 cubic feet of loading space, which it sounds like a lot to me anyway. And based on the size of the vehicle, if you can lay that those back seats flat, I don't see why it wouldn't be one of the best load carrying vehicles out there. I'm sure there aren't going to be a huge number of tradesmen buying Model X's, but actually you never know. The amount my plumber charges probably is going to be driving around in a Model X actually, now that you can get the five seat option. So there you go, for all you plumbers out there, Model X. Brilliant! Okay, so that's, that's, that's pretty awesome. It's also, that's the standard option. So if you want the six seats or the seven seats, you have to pay thousands of dollars extra which um, should come as no surprise. Right, I'm gonna run through the rain and go and make some lunch for Jasper. And another quick bit of Tesla news. They're getting rid of the P90D for both the Model S and the Model X, which makes perfect sense because if you're going to go for some kind of crazily fast, super ridiculous Tesla, then obviously you want the absolute fastest, which is the 100. I reckon it's only gonna be a matter of time before they actually do away with the 90D as well and they'll just replace that with 100D I would have thought that might be a little bit longer coming to fruition because ultimately there's nothing wrong with a 90 kilowatt hour battery it's perfectly decent range and performance that you get out of that and one more bit of Tesla news quickly before I forget They've also added an all glass roof option for the Model S which I think looks sweet I haven't seen one in the flesh Hopefully I'll get to see that at some point, maybe at a service center or something when my car next gets serviced. All right, and um, we'll crack on with these sandwiches now. I think I'm gonna try and keep it to just the one caffeinated coffee today because I've been doing quite well reducing my caffeine. Yeah, let's just sort of so yeah, de decaffeinated from now on today. And in more news, just quickly, EV sales are going up. They're going up everywhere. I'm sort of paraphrasing about 20 different news stories here. They're going up in Europe, they're going up in China, they're going up in America. They're up. Up everywhere. Up, up. Do you like a yogurt? I want a 
Alright, I'll see what I can do. Excellent. I'm putting on the sunglasses. Right. You know what that means. I don't. That you're going to vlog? That's it. Oh. See you in a minute. How long for? Oh, very quick. Just got to tell my subscribers some interesting news about Maserati. Oh, are they doing an electric car? Yeah, it's going to be a sort of a 4x4 four four electric yeah. car. Um, well, it, I wouldn't hold my breath on it because it's going to be about 2019 before they can show it to the public, apparently. Oh. They were told by their Fiat Overmasters that they had to produce an electric vehicle, which sounds really weird because the CEO, well, the CEO of Fiat actually hates EVs, right. like with an actual passion. But was it, um, was it shareholder pressure? Mm, it's probably more compliance car pressure to be honest but and also it's going to be a 4x4 so it's going to be a kind of a Model X style um, car although not Model X I mean I, I honestly who knows nobody knows they did have an interesting thing to say about um, about the performance because Maseratis are apparently about the sound in large degrees yeah. so if you're making an EV, they've got to find a way of replacing that. And they were saying, you know, okay, so you've got the performance and the power and the acceleration off the line. But then when you get going, you can feel that it's a heavy car, yeah. which takes away from that driver experience around corners and the such like. So they're going to try and find a way to fix that, mm. apparently. Oh, and if anyone's wondering what happened with Jasper's assessment, they want to see him again. I don't think it helped that he was a bit tired and he really was not in any way on form. I mean, like, they said hello and he said, and as I'm about to have lasagna, I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog post. If you did, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye. Show them it's for a ready meal. You can show them the plate when it's done to make it look like I've come back and done this amazing job. You have, you've done an amazing job. It's heated up already now. Really, I should be doing the cooking, shouldn't I? I can do this cooking. Ironically, this is one level of cooking I can actually manage.